sodium in liquefied ammonia. Attention! Ammonia is toxic if inhaled, can damage the skin and eyes and is very toxic to aquatic life. Potassium hydroxide is caustic. Sodium is flammable, causes severe chemical burns and reacts violently with water. Acetone is highly flammable, irritating to the eyes and can cause drowsiness. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. The following apparatus can be used for the preparation of many different gases. In this case, ammonia will be prepared. The hose is connected to a glass pipette and a rubber stopper. The beaker will be used as a cooling bath and is filled with acetone. Then dry ice is added to the acetone. Dry ice and acetone can get to a temperature of minus 82 degrees C. To the dripping funnel a saturated solution of 18 grams of ammonium chloride and water is added. This is added dropwise to 100 grams of potassium hydroxide. The ammonium chloride reacts with the potassium hydroxide to form ammonia gas and potassium chloride. Then the test tube is held into the cooling mixture. With a wet pH paper the presence of ammonia gas can be tested. To keep the dripping speed and the stream of gas constant, the stopper of the dripping funnel is removed. As long as the dripping speed is not too high, the gas only gets through the hose. Dry ice should be added frequently to keep the temperature. Ammonia has its boiling point at minus 33 degrees C. When the addition is finished, enough ammonia should have collected in the test tube. The test tube is left in the cooling mixture. Then some small pieces of sodium are prepared. The other alkali metals like lithium or potassium could also be used. The ammonia is taken out of the cooling mixture and a piece of sodium is added. The liquid around the sodium metal turns blue. In the ammonia the sodium separates from its electron to give Na plus and E minus. The solution is blue due to solvated electrons. In the beginning the solution turns colorless again when shaken. This happens because the ammonia gas has not been dried before the condensation. The dissolved salt is called sodium electride and can be isolated in the presence of crown ethers. The solution does conduct electricity and is used in organic chemistry as a strong base. When the solution is saturated, which is also caused by the evaporation of the ammonia, it gets a metallic look. The color is similar to copper. When the ammonia has evaporated completely, mostly metallic sodium is left. This is due to the sodium ions being reduced again by the electrons from the solution. At the end, this can be disposed of by adding isopropyl alcohol. When the sodium dissolves, a very small amount of sodium amide is produced. When iron-3 ions are present, it can even be prepared quantitatively. Sodium amide reacts with oxygen to form explosive compounds. That's why it's sometimes prepared directly before it's used. This was the reaction of sodium and liquefied ammonia gas. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment.